Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are having another head to head. We are pitting Arizona against the Lone Star State, Texas to figure out which state has better craft American single malt. Today we're putting up Delbach American single malt up against Balcona's lineage, Texas single malt whiskey. Anyone who's been following my newfound passion in the year of 2022 knows that I'm starting to really enjoy American single malt. 2021 for me was like rise and scotch, all that jazz. 2022, I'm now starting to delve very heavy into American single malts. I am a huge fan of this Balcona's lineage. I think it's fantastic, fantastic. It's another Texas single malt pot distilled. Um, and it's roughly around like $45 here in Arizona. And a new like single malt whiskey that I found recently Del Bach American Single Malt. This sample was provided by Del Bach, uh, but that's not gonna get into this blind because, well, it's a blind. So whichever one's a winner is the winner. Um, but this is a Arizona Single Malt coming from Tucson, Arizona. And I really, really liked it in the, uh, the review I did. So when I thought, hey, this one around $45 here, this one, around 45-ish dollars here. Both of these bottles are pot distilled American single malts. This Del Bach is 45% ABV and this one is 47% ABV. This one is age dated at at least 30 since six months old. So that's three years. I know I had to do math, that was a little hard. And these I believe are around a year and a half old. Not sure it is non-age stated, but I think the rumor is that they're a year and a half old. And I know they age in smaller barrels and um, whatnot, but essentially they're both two single malts pot distilled from aggressive climates. So let's see which one's better. And I know Balconis, they have um, availability to go outside of their state. I don't think at the moment Del Bach does. But when they do, if you haven't tried them, don't sleep on them. But we're gonna figure out which one is better. Is Balcones making better juice than my local favorite, Del Bach. Let's get into it with A. And just like every blind, I got two bottles in front of me, one A, one B. They were poured by Olivia. I do not know which one's in which. I have a key and we're about to figure out which one's which. Ooh. I love, I'm just gonna start calling them like Southwest age, Southwestern age single malts. I'm really digging on this stuff. Dried fruits, plums, little bit of like a tobacco note. It smells kind of like almost like smoky, like a, like a slightly barbecue note. Very, very sweet, like grilled pineapples, plums, a little bit of like a peach pear in there. It's like candied peaches, those candied peach rings. Oh, love those things as a kid. A little bit of like a tobacco, a little bit of like an oak in there. Like a heavy vanilla, like a dense vanilla going on. Very sweet, no sh super stringent notes, just very dark single malt southwest style let's go ahead and get on to b this one's a little lighter a little bit more of like a pear and a peach going on in there light caramels and vanillas little bit of a tobacco note as well a nice like uh crisp apple and a pear there's like a black pepper note going on in this one as well They're very similar. This, um, so A 
has a little bit more of like a weird like um like i don't know how to describe it it's kind of like a funky vanilla going on in there like a blue corn funkiness Yeah, like there's like a like a corn maze type like funkiness, like kind of like a corn tortilla going on in there. Mm. Both are really, really well. Let's go ahead and kick this off with the palette of hay. Oh, very, very sweet. Dark dried fruit leather. Caramel, vanilla, honey brown sugars, a little bit of tobacco, leather notes going on, nice little bit of oak, raisins, a little bit of like a chocolatiness. Ooh, that palette's fantastic. Nice tobacco, so much tobacco, a little bit of like a leather going on, mm, brown sugars, caramels, vanillas, very, very sweet, very, very viscous. Overall, really good, um, which again, I like both of these a lot. Um, not w sure where that like slightly corn note's going and I think that might be the Balcona stuff. It's just a little like slightly astringent, almost like corny note. Let's go ahead and get on to glass B. This one's a little lighter, sweeter, a little bit more like traditional, like kind of getting that nice like Sweetness, honey, vanilla, caramels, some nice like apricots, some nice pears, almost like a caramel corn. Like you're you're at a fair, caramel corn. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's caramel corn, a little bit lighter fruits, still that like slightly like grilled pineapple, a little bit of that black pepper, like mmm. Very, very solid. Mouthfeel and finish are also really good. It finishes into that like leather, tobacco, kind of um, black pepper with like a nice like honey vanilla butterscotch. This one, it's like sweet, but not in like an artificially sweet way. It just, it's very well balanced. Mm. A, a little bit more viscous, a little bit more like astringent dark notes going on in there. Uh, a little bit more of like dark oak char. Mm -hmm. A little bit like of like a nuttiness almost. And that weird like corny aspect's pretty hard. Um, I know, like I said, like B has some like heavy caramel corn uh, going on in there. And then A, it's like a slightly like corny type note. Uh, but this, so A, it's more of like this like blue corn tortilla chip where B it's like a nice like caramel corn like very sweet luscious blend um going on in there uh this is a close one I think on the noses I'm giving it to B on the palate I'm giving it to B on the palate I like the palate of B better the finish a all the way. The finish, it's it's more viscous, a longer finish, but I do like the flavors, that sweet fruitiness, that nice like tobacco, oak. It just marriages so well together on B where A is a little bit more stringent and it's a little bit more bouncy. Got a lot of like random crazy stuff going on in there. there it does bring a little bit more like that dark red fruits, plums, all that stuff going on where B, it's a little bit lighter, softer fruits, like pears, peaches, type like almost like stone fruits going on. Um, very, very well though. Uh, overall, I'm gonna have to go B's the victor. Both really, really good American single malts. I just think B as an overall drinking experience, it flows better than your A did, where A was a little bit more stringent, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit spikier. That being said, both of these are fantastic and would be happy with these $45 any day of the week compared to a scotch that's similarly priced. But that's just me. Um, 
let's go ahead and look into which one is the victor. And, okay, let's see. Okay, okay. So the victor for this battle to see which one is better between the Delbach Classic and the Balcones Lineage, Delbach was in fact the victor. I like this one. I'm a, so I don't know if anyone's seen the review of this one, but I did the review of this and the smoked one together. And this is just a really well balanced flavor profile in this case. I really, really like this. I also did a review of this and I love the explosive flavors going on in this one, but comparatively, I liked this one because it was a more cohesive drinking experience. This brings a little bit more than this one does in my opinion, but the flavors coming off of this lineage are not as cohesive as this. Um, but overall, no matter what, I think I personally like the Del Bach better, but if you can get your hands on any of this stuff, do so. Balconis makes some amazing single malts and I know Del Bach does as well. But please do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought about this video. Let us know what you guys think about both of these bottles. I personally love both these bottles and you cannot go wrong with a single one of them. I just like Del Bach a little bit better, which you know I'm kind of happy with because well, I like supporting Arizona because you know, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, also check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. The link for that is down there below. We appreciate y'all so much for your support. Cheers, we'll see you later.